This short video is intended to be a brief introduction on how to get started with web work. This tutorial is designed for my Fall 2012 Calculus 1 students. Okay, let's get started. First, I'll assume you can find your way to either our course webpage or our BB Learn site. In this case, I'm on our course webpage. In the mini sidebar for Calculus, let's look for a link to web work all the way at the bottom. In BB Learn, there's a similar link for web work that appears in the upper left hand corner. Let's go ahead and click web work. On this page, you'll see a list of courses. In this particular case, we're looking for D. Ernst 136. D. Ernst, that's me. Math 136 is our course. Let's go ahead and click that. And from this page, you want to enter your NAU username and password. The same username and password you would use for email or Louis or any other NAU domain. In this case, I'm going to enter information for a dummy student. Once you log in, you'll see a list of homework assignments. In this particular case, there's just one homework assignment, Daily 1, and if you click the Daily 1 link, you'll be taken to the problems for that assignment. And here we see a table of information. We've got 12 problems. Each one of those is a link that will take you to the respective problem, and then you have a column that shows you the number of attempts on each problem. In this particular case, I've made six attempts on problem number one, I was in here earlier just guessing and playing around. I made six attempts. Um, all the problems have unlimited attempts. That's what column number three tells you. Column number four tells you the total number of points that each problem is worth. The way I have things set up is that each question part is worth one point. So for example, in problem number three, there are three parts. Each part is worth one point for a grand total of three points. And the last column shows you your status on each individual problem. When I was playing around earlier, uh, on one of the parts for problem number 8, I just randomly guessed, I got it correct, and I've got 33% of that problem right. And I don't have anything else correct. A couple other things worth pointing out. Over here on the right is a link to functions and symbols. If you click that, it will take you some useful information about the kind of things you can and cannot enter in web work. I'll go ahead and let you play with that at your leisure. One other thing worth pointing out on this page before we dive in, there is a link to download PDF or tech hard copy. Don't worry about what tech is right now. I'll assume you know what PDF is. Let's go ahead and click that and see what happens. At this point, what we're confronted with is a few options, most of which you can ignore. But the goal of this page right here is to be able to generate a PDF which you can either save to your computer or print out. The last three options here are only really available after the due date when the answers become available. So you can safely ignore those. If you want, you can go ahead and check the box for student answers. And this will show you the answer that you submitted on your most recent attempt, whether it was right or wrong, and it will include that. Let's go ahead and check that so you can see what happens. And click Generate Hard Copy. And so what we have here is a PDF of all 12 problems showing the multiple parts. And we could go ahead and print this or save this. A couple things worth pointing out. On problem number one, my most recent guess was the answer was 2 to infinity, and it's marking it incorrect. Um, over here on problem six, there were four parts. I guessed on the first part, but I haven't put anything for parts two through four. My answer was incorrect on part eight. And you can go ahead and take a look at the rest of those. Let's go back and take a look at the problems. All right, so if we go back here, the obvious place to start is problem one. Let's go ahead and give it a try. So I've already made six attempts here. Well, let's go ahead and try something else so you can see how this works. So let's erase my previous attempt. And if you look closely at the directions here under note, it tells us that we can use capital U for union. And if we want to get infinity or minus infinity, we go ahead and type out the word infinity spelled correctly and throw a minus sign in front if we want minus infinity. All right, so let's go get some, something to try here. So how about minus infinity to 2? Let's go ahead and not include 2, and then capital U for union. And let's start at 3, and remember close bracket means including 3. And let's go ahead and go to infinity. Now I'm just guessing here, I don't think that's the right answer. But one of the nice things is that maybe I haven't typed this in correctly, I'm not sure if I've done that. And if I go ahead and click this link down here for preview answers, I can go ahead and see what web work thinks that I mean. 
And so up at the top, here's what I entered, and here's what WebWork thinks that I mean. And that, that's what I meant. And there's no danger in going ahead and submitting this and seeing what happens. So let's give it a try. And unfortunately, we don't have the right answer. So a couple of things we could do here. We could keep trying. We could start over and go ahead and enter the problem again. Or maybe we get frustrated. We're not quite sure what to do on this one, and we want to move on to the next problem. There's a couple of things we could do. We could jump around randomly on problems or click problem two, or up at the top, we can go ahead and click next, and that will take us to problem two. All right, so I've already entered an answer for problem number two, but I haven't gotten it correct yet. So let's go ahead and just, uh, let's try again. So I think the answer is minus infinity, but maybe I type infinity wrong. To zero bracket, let's go ahead and do union, and then bracket seven, and then infinity. I think that's the answer. But as you can tell, on the very first attempt at writing infinity, I typed it incorrectly. So let's go ahead and click preview answers and see what WebWork thinks that I mean. And as you can see, it says infinity is not defined in this context, and it's highlighting it over here, and I can see I've, I've typed it in wrong. So let's go ahead and fix it. And let's preview again. Ah, yes, that's what I meant. And I think maybe that's the right answer. Let's go ahead and click Submit. Yay, green. All right, so we've got it correct. And it's saved. We don't have to do anything else. And we can move on to the next problem. Let's go ahead and click on problem eight. This problem's got three parts. I've got answers down for part one and two, and I have left problem three blank. Now, I happen to remember that the second part is the one that I got marked correct on before. Now, even if I change my answer, it's still been marked correct, but this other part's not correct. So let's go ahead and write something that just doesn't make sense. A, B, C. Let's go ahead and click Preview. So A, B, C is not defined in this context. It's not one of the possible answers for this problem. So I should probably enter something that appears in this box over here. So let's go ahead and write five, six, seven, zero. I have no idea if that's the correct answer. Let's give it a try. And you can see that part B is correct, part A is not, and I haven't put anything yet in part C, and that's marked incorrect. Okay, a couple other things worth pointing out here. Down here towards the bottom is a link for email instructor. If you think something's wrong with the problem, things aren't working correctly, you're getting frustrated with how to enter something in, you can go ahead and send me an email directly from WebWork. Let's go ahead and do this. So this is going to send an email directly to me. And you go ahead and type in this box. Probably something more useful than blah, blah, blah. And then you go ahead and click Send. I'll get an email. And one of the advantages is to this is I'll have a link that will take me directly to the problem that you are having issues with. You want to make sure you don't abuse this. If it gets taken advantage of, I'll probably have to turn this feature off, but if you're really having issues with a particular problem, you should go ahead and email me directly from WebWork. Let's go ahead and cancel that. And that's probably all the things you need to know to get started. If you have questions, go ahead and post in the forum on VBLearn or send me an email. Good luck.